Thomas like yellow houses. We did a yellow house yesterday too. Um, so we are here. We're about uh, three or four minutes drive away from uh, downtown Fort Myers again. Uh, we're on the other side of downtown Fort Myers this time. Um, this one looking at another older home. This one built in 1956 and we are right off of McGregor Boulevard. So those of you that are familiar with the area, it's the... Uh, so McGregor Boulevard right here, uh, the, all the huge royal palms lining the street uh, from, from downtown all the way down McGregor alongside the river. Uh, we're just on the east side of McGregor Boulevard, a little neighborhood called Valencia Terrace. And we are looking today at a very affordable home over here. Uh, and it's in really nice shape. It's a three bed, two bath, uh, kind of little cottage style, about a thousand, little over a thousand square feet. Um, awesome neighborhood here. This house was built in 1956, so that's not the house. Uh, that's across the street, but uh, give you a view of the neighborhood a little bit. It's a garbage day today. Nice landscaping too. You got this uh, Royal Poinciana and a huge mango tree up there. Nice big lot, extra parking over here on the side. Hey baby, there's your beautiful new car too. <laughs> Um, so let's see. So it's, these lots here are not real deep, uh, but it is nice and wide. So all the way over, you can see the, uh, kind of telephone pole back there. That's pretty much right on the corner of the lot. And so you have this huge mango tree and then here's the rest of the yard. So nice looking house here. Again, three bed, two bath, uh, one car carport. It's already walled in, so you could easily just throw a garage door on it and turn it into a one car garage. Can I bring some mangoes? Uh, I don't think I can reach those mangoes if I wanted to. Uh, there is one right there on the ground in the driveway, but uh, it's already split open. So nice big yard here. You can see over here on the side, you got tons of space on this side as well. It's a corner lot. So a little bit bigger than normal. So let's take a look inside. First thing I noticed when I walked in is uh, it's got the original wood floors. So love these, uh, these old real hardwood floors. So cute little house here. Dining area, got a little eating kitchen, breakfast bar. Here's the kitchen. And then the door out to the carport there. So this, this house here, three bed, two bath, one car carport, just over a thousand square feet. A uh, thousand square feet listed for one ninety nine. Um, another one down the street, uh, a little bit more updated than this. You know, has a little bit higher end finishes, granite and and all that stuff. Uh, but uh, about eleven hundred and fifty square foot, three bed, two bath, uh, with a one car garage, uh, sold in the two forties about a month ago. So um, this is a very good value here. So here's one bedroom. This would be the master. And uh, again, with these older homes, very interesting. It is very pretty inside, updated windows, um, but not a ton of closet space. That would be the master closet right there. And here's the master bedroom. So it's long and narrow. And then here's your master bath. Got the shower there. I don't know, I guess that's extra counter space down there. <laughs> Good luck getting to the stuff at the end. And 
You could put a door on it if you want to, but that would be a tight squeeze. So here's your master bath, master bedroom, three bed, two bath. And then here are the other two bedrooms and the second bath is in between. It's a, Jack, a true Jack and Jill bath. So these are pretty good sized rooms though. They did the cedar, cedar lining in the closets there. And then here's your uh, Jack and Jill bath. Nice tile shower. And uh, I think this is that, yeah. That's that film Rachel loves on the, uh, the window there. Yeah, exactly, under 200 right off of McGregor. Super cute little house. You don't find that very often, and if you do, so like uh, you could get a house like this that needs about fifty thousand dollars worth of work for about you know one seventy five, but then you put fifty grand into it, and you're in two and a quarter. This one's already done. So I mean, you could easily do a couple little things to upgrade it a little further, throw some granite stainless appliances if you want but I mean the appliances all look to be in good shape um, you know really nice house lots of windows lots of light and uh, it's gonna get loud outside the lawn guys just started across the street but show you the carport here and there is a laundry room uh, it's off the carport so it's in a covered area um, but you got nice big laundry room here Washer and dryer hookup, and then your hot water heater's out here. And uh, I don't know if that's an old well pump or what, but uh, this is on city water and sewer now. So I'm not sure what exactly that's for. But uh, yeah, cute little house. That's just about it. I'm gonna go around the backside so you can see. The back property over here and everything in this area is really really well maintained so here's the back of the property line everything over here is so well maintained I mean it's a great neighborhood it's always super popular It's actually pretty amazing how well everybody keeps uh, keeps their places up over in this area. So that's it. Again, three bed, two bath, one car carport, a little over a thousand square feet for one ninety nine, right off of McGregor. Awesome neighborhood. All kinds of cool historic homes. So here's uh, a look down the street. Darlena needs your touch. You're like the landscape queen. So that's it. That's all I got. If anybody, let's see, has anybody got any questions besides Rachel asking me to bring home mangoes? Look, they did the house for you. You just got to do the yard. And it's already got some awesome trees. You got a couple of these Royal Poinciana's. There's a bunch of them up and down the street too. So, all right, everybody. Well, thanks for watching. You know where to find me here. 
Uh, either here on Facebook or on YouTube, Jerry Niesman on YouTube. Or uh, give me a call, shoot me a text, 239-201-9583. Let me know. Oh, look. I don't know if you guys can see it down there. There's a dinosaur. Wait, where'd he go? There's a dinosaur down the street. Let's see. He disappeared. We've got dinosaurs roaming the neighborhood here off of McGregor in Fort Myers. So 239-201-9583. Call me, text me. Let me know if this is something you want to come take a look at or if you've got any others that you want to see. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.